Hi, this is Chris with Ignite Studio. Thanks for joining us again in our series of videos that talk about activities or projects you can do at home with just really basic materials. Um, today we're just going to do something that uses paper scraps. Um, I actually keep boxes of these in my studio. This is one of four boxes that I have of paper scraps. And surprisingly, I do use them for a lot of different activities. So hopefully you'll find that this is something you can do with maybe scraps you have around the house. If you don't have scraps, you can cut up magazines, you can cut up you know, different things. Um, but what we're gonna do is make sort of a card. Um, and I made this card for my parents. It was their anniversary. And I wanted to, to basically kind of embellish the card a little bit. And I did that by adding dimension to the letter A for anniversary and sort of building that up with different layers of paper. And so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you kind of the basic steps in doing this. And it's really easy to do. This is you know great for all ages. Um, but I just start with a piece of paper that's about the size of my card. So I have these cards already. You'll need glue. You're going to need a pair of scissors and then also a pencil. And like I say, um, any scraps that you have, these are kind of pre-cut. We can cut them as we go. There's no real formula to this. So I, my niece is going to be turning nine. So I'm going to make a card for her and her name is Ellis. So I'm just basically going to draw out sort of the blueprint here for her letter the letter of her first name, which is E. And now I'm just going to pick some um, kind of bits of paper, colors that I like. And I think I'll do, I know she likes pink. So I'm just going to cut off maybe, this is going to be my biggest sort of layer. And that looks about the right size. And I just do this really loosely. Um, I sort of like that, you know, this is a little bit smaller at the bottom and this is larger at the top. That does not bother me. If you're one of those people that likes to be sort of precise, by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, but then I just put some glue on the back and then I just start laying down. Oops. Okay, so that's sort of the base. And then I think I'll add some orange. So again, just a random piece of paper here. I'm going to cut these a little bit thinner. Just starting to build up some layers here. So it makes it slightly three-dimensional and just more visually interesting, I think. Okay, so again, I would lay this sort of under a book, maybe let it sit overnight a couple hours, just make, you know, to make sure the glue is dried and things are flat, because as we all know, glue and paper sometimes buckle up. Um, and I'll just see if I think I can cut this. So we'll pretend that this is dried. And then I would just cut, and this is gonna add yet a fourth sort of layer. Okay, there's our E, and then I would attach it to the card. Okay, so there we have our E card for my niece, Ellis. Just adds a little bit of uh, visual interest to it. 
Um, so if you're interested in doing uh, this project or any of the projects that we've shown you um, and you want to show us your work, we would love to see it. Um, and our, basically, we have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, and if you uh, would post or tag us, uh, Hamilton East Public Library, we would love it. Um, and thanks again for joining us. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the, this series that we've been having.